Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem I got from one of my subscribers and here's a problem and across the plants of F2 generation segregate three quarters red and one quarter white. If red plant of the F2 generation has self-fertilized, what is the probability that both phenotypes will be observed in its progeny? As you see, the red pigment is dominant and white pigment is recessive. So let's start with the parental generation. So we have one plant of the genotype capital A, capital A, and we cross with another plant, which is small a, small a. So we call this parent one and parent two. And phenotype of this plant is red, and phenotype of this plant is white. And next generation is going to be F1 generation. So what we are going to see in F1 generation is that all plants are going to be heterozygous. So from parent 1 they can get only dominant allele and from parent 2 they only can get recessive allele. And phenotype is going to be red of all these plants. And when we self-pollinate them we are going to get next generation which we call F2 generation. So in F2 generation we are going to get following genotypes and phenotypes so one parent and another parent both of them are of the same genotype so let's build simple Punnett square and let's take a look what we are going to see in F2 generation what phenotypes and genotypes capital A capital A here capital A small a here, capital A small a here, and small a small a here. In F2 generation we are going to see three genotypes, one, two, and three genotypes, but two phenotypes. So this is going to be one phenotype here. So these two genotypes would produce plants with red pigment, and this one is going to produce this genotype flowers with white pigment. As you see the ratio of phenotypes is going to be 3 to 1. And now let's return to our problem. If a red plant from the F2 generation has self-fertilized, what is the probability that both phenotypes will be observed in its progeny? So that means that we have to exclude this variant here. We now only work with this sample space. So we also exclude this ratio here and now we are working with frequencies or ratios not of the phenotypes but genotypes because we work with one phenotype and ratio of the genotypes is going to be 1 which is homozygous dominant to 2 which is going to be heterozygous. So ratio is 1 to 2. One to two, or we can say one sort and two sorts. And one sort plus two sorts would make three sorts or one hundred percent. You should clearly understand that it's not one quarter, it would be one quarter if this is going to be our sample space. But our sample space now only this space. So now homozygous dominant represent one sort and heterozygous represent two sorts. Both these genotypes make same phenotype. And now the question what is the probability that by random chance we are going to choose this genotype and the answer is going to be one sort. So if we choose this genotype and self-fertilize so that means capital A capital A with itself. So of course the result is going to be that all the progeny is going to be only of the homozygous dominant genotype. And what is the probability that we are going to take this genotype and self-fertilize. And self-fertilization of this genotype means capital A small a and capital A small a. And you already know that such a cross is going to result in such Punnett square and is going to result in two phenotypes in a progeny. So 
our answer is going to be that probability that we are going to choose this genotype is going to be two thirds and self fertilization of such genotype is going to result in two phenotypes in a progeny of the F3 generation. So this is going to be our answer. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.